Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm King Dino. I'm Adam, and this is Twyla. As much as you know. <laughs> <laughs> and we are getting ready. We're packing to go away. We thought we might head off for one night to Colac. Now we found a free camping spot, so hopefully it's good. We're packing our uh, fire pit from the pit, the pit, the pit kit. kit. Uh, we're packing that tonight. And um, yeah, we're gonna hit the road. Now we're gonna do some packing. So we thought we'd just show you quickly, just a little bit of how we pack and what we pack and how we do this. We only got away from away for one night, so it's pretty simple. But um, before we head off, so let's go packing. You ready, Tyler? Yes. Okay, let's go. So if you've been watching us for a while, we have our trusty box that we run everything out to the van to make everything quicker. So at the moment, this is all our uh, refrigerated goods. I've already done the dry goods. So I'm gonna run this out now. And then all we pretty much need is our clothes. And of course, Twyla's stuff, which Adam's gonna do now. Okay, Twyla, we'll get ready to pack for tomorrow morning. Yep. Okay, essentials, we've got lead food bowl because she's fussy she won't really eat out of it in many other bowls um what's what else have we got for you huh we've got raincoat yeah no 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 we're not going for a walk now lead extra long lead this is all tempting her uh, water bowl and uh uh, metal cone brush. We've always recommended having a, one of these kind of brushes on the go. We found that once we took it for a hike, or well not a hike, but a walk in um, a track along the beach, coastal walk, and then we got all these little thistles stuck in her legs um, with, with, what, within five minutes of walking. So um, we learned that lesson quick to bring a brush on hand so we can easily get thistles or um, little thorns out of her, out of her fur. Treats. No, no, no. These are for now. They're for later. Hey, they're for later. So when we go, when we go to a cafe or something, um, a range of treats on hand will keep her busy. Wipes, just to keep her fresh if we need to. Even if she has any accidents, worst case scenario. Or if she's got muddy paws, so we need to give them a quick wash. Well, this is in your backpack, huh? It's like a baby's backpack. Um, Tissues and the essential doggy poop bags. Whenever we go, obviously we pick up after she does her business. And and of course, we've always got some extra King Dino business cards, um, King Dino adventure cards on the go as well. And that's it. That's all Missy's stuff ready to go for tomorrow morning. Hey, huh? not long to go now. So I'm just finishing packing in the fridge. So as you can see, our fridge doesn't look big, but it holds quite a lot. We're only going for one night. I've literally fitted everything we have that we're taking pretty much on the bottom level, besides some bacon up here. And um, and our door, we always like to have a bottle of water in there. And then we have some other bottles in the front of water. Um, just so we've got clean water. We. We brush our teeth with this water, but we don't actually drink the water out of our tanks. I mean, they're so old, you don't want to really be drinking that stuff. Um, but you can, but um, we always like to bring bring bottled water. But anyway, that's done. <coughs> We're nearly ready to head off tomorrow morning. I almost forgot to mention our firewood. I am taking firewood away with us tomorrow because I don't know if we can get any there. And as you can see, so everything's packed now. Twyla's bag's in there. We're all ready to go tomorrow morning, so we can head off nice and early. Hopefully Adam gets up early enough. Um, <laughs> but this is this is our charger for our big light and our charger for our little decorative lights. So they sit in Twyla's basket. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna open up this blind. Hopefully there's enough charge on them tomorrow because they've been sitting in the dark for a while. And um, hopefully we've got a bit of light for tomorrow. But otherwise, we're pretty much set to go. The only thing we haven't packed tonight is our clothes. Adam's about to pack his. He'll come up. 
he pops his clothes up here so he'll pop them in there and then i've got my very own big wardrobe i don't know how i won this one but i've got that whole thing as my wardrobe and then adam's wardrobe is up there so that's it so we're just going to pack them and we're ready to go it is so quick and easy it's so good just for one nighters not too much hassle anyway Let's go to bed and uh, get ready for tomorrow. Well, it's morning and we're ready to go on our adventure. And this is what happens when we tell Tyler we're going on another adventure. She gets excited. Yes, and I can't pick you up if you keep doing circles. Come on, let's go. We've got to go, Tyler. It's getting late. It's getting late. Right. We're never going to get there. Never chase you around every single time. <laughs> <sighs> All go. right, we can go now. Oh, <laughs> okay. Very good. Let's go. So we're just at the petrol station and this is the diesel. This is probably the best we've paid for diesel. I can't believe I'm saying this, but that's the best price we've paid for diesel in ages. Anyway, let's fill up so we can hit the road. So we've just arrived to Colac, we're in Memorial Square. Now this is a perfect first place to stop. You're right near all the bakeries, cafes, shops, and in the middle, they've got their Remembrance Shrine over here, which we'll go check out next. And also they've got toilets on the side of the park, plenty of parking all the way around. Um, so this is a great spot to stop. Um, also, they have a kids' playground, which looks pretty cool. Um, so if you've got kids, great spot to let them have a run after a drive from Melbourne or wherever you're coming from. We just ran into some of our viewers. They were so lovely. They've got a van, um, their own van, and they travel around. They like watching van life. So hi, guys. Thank you for stopping and saying hi to us. But anyway, we're going to move on now. I'll show you the uh, Remembrance Shrine. And then we're probably going to look for something for lunch. So we found ourselves a bakery. Now, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I think it's Holmes Bakery. And um, Adam's just gone in and got us some pies and some very hot coffees, which is awesome because it's very cold here today in Colac. But anyway, let's check out these pies and how they look. Sure, it looks good. Down. What do you reckon, Adam? Mm. Good. good. Mm. And the square shape makes it easier to eat. Yeah, you like them square, don't you? Mm. All right, my turn. Yummy! Oh, look at Twilight. <laughs> Always acts like she's starving. She does. <laughs> well, that was absolutely delicious. We're going to take a walk around town now, but I just found out that bakery, they had a thing saying the staff that have worked there since 1950 to, till 2010. But um, so I'm assuming that it's been open around. Well, at least, at least, at least that time. So yeah, right. Years, How cool is that? And. Um, we ran into a well, an old local from here that we spoke to, and she said we said the name correct. So, kudos to me. Anyway, we've got our coffees. I'm going to go walk around town. Adam just saw his sign. So, what did you go do? So we thought we'll try our luck. 
maybe we can buy in Carl like if we win 30 million. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so quick pick and some scratches. Oh, we don't normally get these, no, but we anyway, don't. we can give our no. luck a go. We'll do them later in the episode. Uh, fingers crossed. Who knows? Could we win this tomorrow? Or well, tonight? we could get a new van. We'll get a new van. Yes. We've got our eye on one, but um, they might have to wait a little bit longer, depending. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see what happens. All right, we'll zip that pocket up. Let's keep walking. Dean's down. like, Dean's like, oh, she'll put my pocket. I'm like, no, 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 that's gonna blow away. So, no, zip secure. it up. Let's go. Yeah. One of the locals that we ran in recommended this camping shop, so we're gonna go across and have a look. I don't know if Twilight will be allowed inside, but we'll take it in turns. We love a good camping shop. So they let Twyler in, which is really nice of them. And um, we just come across these. Check these out. Some batteries you can take on the road with you to charge everything, can run everything. But anyway, we're not here to buy something like that today. We're just here to have a look around, aren't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Until we buy something. <laughs> yeah, until we buy something. <laughs> we're hopeless. Adam needs a new chair because his bum's getting too big. <laughs> look at the size of this thing, it's huge. <laughs> Adam, you look like a little kid. <laughs> it's a bit weird, yeah? So we've just arrived to the Coal Lake Botanical Gardens. Now there is a cafe here. I'm not sure when they're open, if it's just for mornings or not, but there's a cafe here. Um, it faces on to the actual lake itself. So if you want to come down and have a look at that, it's like a two minute drive from the main part of town. Definitely worth the look. Um, they've got picnic tables, they've got barbecues, they've got parks for kids, they've got it all. So definitely worth coming down and checking it out. So anyway, let's go have a look and uh, we'll finally get to see the lake that we'll be camping on tonight. found the cafe it's called um lakeview cafe it is absolutely gorgeous and check out the view we got we're the only one sitting outside because it's bloody cold but um look at these chips we thought we'd grab some chips couldn't help ourselves and another round of coffees so i'm going to enjoy this and um then we'll head out of town and go check out some other things Adam, what have you gone and got? What have you got to yeah, take away? <laughs> oh, wow. Not bad That's for insane. For a slice of cake. They've definitely got good cakes. And fresh cream. And fresh cream as well. Yeah. I like that. How cool is that? Mm. All right. We're ready to. Now, where are we going next? We Tonight's dessert. Tonight's um, dessert. Red rock? Red? No, no. Volcano. Oh, it's a volcano. All right. Let's go hop in the van and head to the volcano. Before we take off, I thought I'd show you Lake Colac Caravan Park. Now they're adjacent to the park we were just in, so you can walk to that cafe for breakfast from here. They got, um, they're right along the water, 
So if you don't have a van like us, or you don't want to camp in a tent, you can always come here and get a cabin. Or if you've got a caravan, you want you prefer a caravan park with the facilities, you can look these guys up. Anyway, we're not staying here, but it looks like a pretty good caravan park. Anyway, let's head off now and go check out this next place. So we've just made it to Red Rock and um, check out this view and somewhere out there we're going to be camping tonight, I don't know where, but um, you can kind of see, I am just thought I'd do some talking now before we head out the car because it's so windy up here, but um, anyway, let's get out, there's another whole heap of steps we've got to walk now, isn't there Adam? Um, you feeling a energetic? Flight of, flight of stairs. Feeling energetic? Oh, it's not too bad. Okay, let's go. I don't exercise, but I can do that. <laughs> Come on, Twyla. This is your favourite thing. Walking. Yay! So... We've just worked out that that isn't Lake Colac. That's right. So we thought that was Lake Colac, but it's not. That is actually a lake which is maybe, oh, five times larger. And that's Lake, I'm, trying, I'm reading it off the plaque here, Lake Kurungamite. And then Lake Colac is actually over here on that side, behind these mounds or the hills. Um, so we're about to head up that bit of those steps and then we might be able to see Lake Holac once we're up there. So. All, right. Yeah. All right, let's head up there. Come on, let's go. Come on. It's but the Red Rock's an extinct, well, it's an extinct volcano, which last, well, this volcano in the area erupted about four and a half thousand years ago there. Um, but with that, because of the, the eruptions, it crumbled to find all these hills in this region. It's right pretty cool, doesn't it? It's definitely worth the drive out here. So sorry about this wind, it's absolutely insane, but I just got into a full circle and to show you. So that's where we're camping over there tonight, and then. This is the view. How'd you find that coming up that steep hill? Yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> because you can't actually see the the, the top of the, the hill. end of the <laughs> end of the road essentially. And so um, we've we've come when up, you reach the crest, but yeah, yeah. Well, we've come up to another part which it kind of goes into a bit of a U shape, doesn't it? And then you can go up mm. either way. Anyway, so another another lookout with another lookout pillar. Yeah, um, when you're driving up on the on the end of this hill, but this one has a better better view of Colac Lake. We, I'll get out in a second because it's too windy out there to talk, but I'll um, film that outside in a sec. But the if I turn the camera around to this side, that's where we were just on top of that just then, and the volcano part's just down there. So anyway, I'll get out now so I can show you guys the view from up here.
So we've just pulled over because Adam's found this bike track that looked that really. We drove past. Well, it. yeah, we drove past it. We're on our way to the um, to the campsite where we're going to go tonight. But yeah, so this is bike track, and we drove past it. and It was really cute. This little section here. I think we're in a town called Kuruuk. Kuruuk. And it had a really cute garden. So we're just going to do a little short walk up it and show you guys, and then we're going to come back to the van. How nice was that? Yes, we took a well a quick stroll through. Uh, well, I think it was. Well, I thought it was public space, but I mean it is public space. But I think it's at the, obviously the front of someone's property. I think they actually maintain it um, because their driveway had a very similar setup. Um, yeah, I think it's done by these guys. Yeah, they just, the, 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 the just the decorated their, their the front, yeah. path in front of their house. Yeah, and but that looks pretty. Really, really nice. It's probably the best footpath I've seen in my life actually yeah. <laughs> in a public space no it's so it nice it beats back home and no one mows their front nature strip um, anyway it's in it's in what, <laughs> what was the place called again um, I think we're in Kuluruk Kuluruk so if you if you blink you'll miss it yeah. but um, if you're on your way out to um, the Red Rock, Rock. Yeah. you can see it so and there is mm. a you can look up and see what the bike there's an actual bike path so there might be a you know, tell you where you can go if you're into bike riding. But anyway, let's head off to our campsite now. Mm -hmm. No more stopping, Twyla. Straight to Meredith Campground. All right, let's go. Okay, so we made it. We so we're just arrived at Meredith Park. And you can see at the sign it says that I'll you go back can, to the sign. You can have um, fires, you can camp. Oh, fires can only be lit in the fire pits provided. Oh, wow. Better fire um, Let's go. Yep. Yeah. Maximum period of stays one month. Oh, one month? One month. Wow. Alright, we've found where we're going to be staying tonight. This is a really nice spot. Now, we won't be using our fire pit from the pit kit um, because the cancer won't let us, but we have got our own fireplace. There is about another probably eight available. So, um, we've got this one. And then, check out this view. How awesome is this? This is why we wanted to come here for this view and there is still plenty of spaces. So if you are coming here, well, being that it is a cold day and night, I suppose it's gonna be very cold tonight, you're not gonna get heaps of people out here, but in the summertime, I can imagine people just rocking up here because you're not paying a cent, but look at this. We're next to the flushable toilets. That's right, flushable. How cool is that? Now, most people try to stay away from the toilets but we thought this is the hardest ground and we haven't got our all-terrain tires yet so we skid in you know get bogged in the most like hardly any mud but we'll get bogged so we have chosen the most hardiest spot in this joint so we don't get bogged in the morning because it is going to rain tonight well about two or three in the morning so hopefully we won't be getting bogged um but we think we've picked a good position and if we need to go to the toilet, well, it's a bonus. The flushable toilets, how cool is that? Anyway, let's get set up. We're all set up. So we're gonna start getting the fire ready for tonight. And um, I've got cushions on our chairs because I'm blowing over in the wind. <laughs> we look like we're, we're camping fancy with cushions. <laughs> hey, Twyla. 
All right, it's time to get the fire going. Don't you love when you bring your old bills and you burn them? It makes you kind of feel good. I just wish I didn't have to pay them, but anyway, here we go. All right, let's get this party started. So we just moved the van just to block the wind a bit because it was getting a bit cold, wasn't it, Adam? And Adam's got the sniffles. This now, it, it is that windy. We have gone through half a box of tissues <laughs> in yeah. an hour. So Adam's thinking um, he's got to sit in here with Twyla. For a little bit. For a little bit. Stay warm. I'm going to sit next to the fire um, myself. It is that windy. You can't even feel the heat from the fire. So yeah. it's literally just... <laughs> The heat goes, and it goes towards Well, you can pretend that you're getting the fire, because look, look and at that sound, view. And I sound nasally myself, because yeah. I've got the... Um, but you've had a COVID test. COVID test this morning, negative. Yeah. But it's got a runny nose. It just keeps... Yeah. Just, this wind is just... Yeah. It's bitterly cold. Yeah. So. It's freezing. Yeah. But um, anyway, I'm going to go stoke the fire and mm. have a drink. Hey, Twyla. Yes? Yes. Yeah, you All right. Just putting that on so Adam can have a soup to warm him up because he's still sniffing. He's braved it and they've come outside. Him and Twyla. I'm going to have a glass I'm, of wine. I think I've maybe got a, I don't know. What? Maybe a colder for the old mole man. He, um, <laughs> yeah, I, days I've been, we've been helping with their wardrobe. And, yeah, we've been helping his um, dad build his wardrobe. Yeah, but they had a bit of a cold lately. And they had so. a cold last two days but I wasn't there mm. so Adam might have got it and yeah Twyla's happy fire's going and we'll just wait for the kettle to boil she's happy she can, she can see us she's happy yes uh, yes yeah. so tonight I think if the fire goes well I'm going to cook on here um on, in a pan I'm going to be cooking what am I cooking Adam kebabs Kebab. you don't really cook kebabs we no. Just, we just cook the meat. I'm just cooking the meat, but we're going to have kebabs. So we have some Greek. Yeah, Greek. Greek, Greek, Greek. Yeah, yeah. Greek. It's I kebabs, think. Greek, yeah, or yeah. that's Turkish or something. Oh, Turkish kebabs. Yeah, Turkish kebabs. Oh, I've got a message. But that's actually interesting. That's like saying we're going to have Italian pizzas. So is oh, okay. it Turkish All right. kebabs? Well, we'll just call it a kebab. Who knows? Can you comment? Is it Greek or is it, <laughs> is it Greek? Or well, Turkish? I think they both have them. But, but or the they origin? call it souvlaki. What's the origin? Maybe no, the Greeks call it souvlakis. Ah, uh, yep, yep, okay. Yep. Yeah, and, and the, the yeah, Turkish say, because, yeah. call it mm. a kebab. So mm. call it what you want. Mm. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, wait for this kid to boil. Oh, look at the birds. And um, what a view tonight. What a view. Look at the birds. It's so gorgeous. So it's starting to slowly get dark now, but I thought I'd just show you. So down a bit further, there's some campers in a tent. There's people doing van life in a car. And then over here, we've got a, he looks like he's full time here. He doesn't even have a car here, but he's been filling up his water. So he's here permanently, I think. And then over here, we've got these guys in a pretty cool van. They were sitting out next to their fire. But um, they've just packed up because it's probably getting a little bit too cold for them. So they've gone inside for the night. And yeah, just enjoying the view still. Just watching the sun go down. It's so nice. And um, Adam, poor Adam, he's still waiting for, um, let me spin the camera around. He's still waiting for his kettle to boil. He's been waiting for a while. So besides free camping and having been able to have your dog here, you can actually do fishing. Obviously you need your license, 
but you can um, go fishing here. These guys are camping. They've literally got about six rods in the water. I don't know if there's quite six people here, but they've got about six rods in the water and they're having the biggest fish off. I haven't seen any come out yet, but if we do see some come out, oh look, he's pulling the rod in now, um, I'll let you know. But um, we were thinking about bringing a rod, but we decided not to. But um, looking at these guys, they're not having too much luck, even with six rods. <laughs> All right, the kettle's finally gone. And Adam is making his pack of soup. <laughs> yep. The sun's going down. It's absolutely gorgeous. Check that view out behind Adam. And... Um, this is what camping's about. So has that hit the spot, Adam? Mm. Good? Top, right. Yep. Mm. Oh my God, it looks really hot. Mm. Steaming hot. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right, well, you enjoy that. And have another sip of my wine and enjoy the sunset. The last bit of light left for the night. Adam has thrown the towel in. He's sick, he's not well. So I'm just out here enjoying the last bit of the fire. Uh, we were going to cook on this tonight, but it's not going to happen now. We're going to go inside and do the cooking. But do you blame us? It's like zero degrees. And <laughs> and Adam's got the sniffles. So we'll go inside and cook our, whatever you want to call it, Turkish slash Greek tonight. So cheers, guys. So it's seven o'clock, we're feeling hungry, Twilo is asleep. We've got the TV going. Now, the TV reception here is fine. You just gotta put the antenna up. It wasn't hard, I literally just raised it up and we had reception, which was awesome. Obviously you have to tune your TV in, which you always have to do if you're camping. Um, like I was saying, if you wanna call it a kebab or a suvalaki, we're doing that tonight. Now, normally we would have lamb, but we had beef at home, so, and I know we don't normally have a beef kebab, but, <laughs> We're Aussie, so that's what we're doing tonight. Uh, we've got beef here, so we'll cut that up in strips. I've gone and brought us, we had this at home. Some friends of ours gave this for a present, um, a whole heap of different herbs. So I've picked the um, garlic and herb, because I thought that'd be perfect. We've got our bread there, and then we've got, we've pre-diced everything. So we don't have to do any work tonight. We've got our tzatziki dip tomato lettuce and our onion anyway we'll get this on and start cooking poor adam <laughs> still in his tissue box still not feeling the best oh uh, uh, yeah but um yeah, constant sniffles constant sniffles but anyway we're inside it is getting warmer in here now we're cooking twice a asleep so the meat's nearly ready. I've opened up everything. So everything's ready to go. It's so simple. And this is, if you've got the time to, like we're only going away for one night. So if you've got the time to chop everything, pre-do everything, it just makes life easier. So we're all done. We've got the bread here, so that's ready to go. Um, just bought this, so we're gonna wrap those. And uh, yep, we've got our famous plates ready. So time to dish up and eat dinner. Adam's dishing up first and um, making his own. What are you going to call yours? A kebab? I've never seen. Oh, is that what you mean? Yeah, well, we, you know, that's been the big debate. Let me let me, um, let me, me turn the fan off so we can hear you actually talk. Yeah, a kebab. I guess a kebab. What? A, a kebab. Okay. Isn't it a kebab? Is it the same thing? Well, to me it is, but I mean. To the Turkish out there and to the Greeks, they're going to think they're going to, probably going to think 
you know, there's a big difference and we're being insulting. <laughs> but anyway, we'll call it, you know what? Because you're making it, technically, it's an Italian kebab. So, <laughs> is that right? Oh, I don't know. All right, we're having an Italian kebab tonight. Anyway, we'll make this work. Here we go. All right, let's see what you think of it. Oh, well, what do you think, Adam? <laughs> mm. Did you do the fold okay? Well. Yeah. That... Let's see how it lasts. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, Tyler's having a drink of water. Mm. But, no, that looks good. Mm. All right, well, sit down and enjoy. I need some light. I'm going to make mine now. We're going to turn the light on. Oh, wait a sec. I can turn... Oh, there we go. There's some light. Yeah. But, um... It looks good. It's a bit nippy. See? It's a bit nippy tonight, so um. Oh, that's right. Adam's going back under the blanket, oh. and uh, so it's gonna be jumping over here straight away. Yeah, the the bets are on. Who's Twyla gonna sleep with tonight, Adam or me? Because um, when she wants to be warm, she normally jumps on my side because I'm like a hot water bo hot water bottle. But anyway, a little bit of bread. There you are. Well, this is how mine's looking. I've got the, I've put everything on and then I put the um, tzatziki dip and then I put my meat on top. So now I've just got to fold this end over, roll it up and I'll be getting dinner. And guess who's just joined me? Hello, what do you want? <laughs> Baby girl. Twyla, sit down. <laughs> you want some kebab? Yum, yum. Just organising Adam's dessert. Look at this. You know, I'm trying to be good, even though we had chips today. <laughs> but this looks so good. I wonder, if, Adam, are you going to get through all this? Maybe not. Maybe not? All right. Anyway, but look how I love the fact this is fresh, real cream, not from those pump machine things, but it's actually real cream. But anyway, I'll take it over to Adam and uh, see how he goes. We'll see if he gets through this whole thing. Twyla's really wanting some of this cake, but she can't have it. You're not allowed to have this cake, baby girl. Anyway, over here, I am getting bedding ready. So normally we just sleep, most most nights when we're away, we just sleep in this with a polyester blanket each. Um, we fold it over twice and it's enough. Um, I normally sleep in a windshield as well, but tonight being that it's so cold, we've got our sleeping bags out as well. So we'll put them on our beds, and probably put one layer under us to keep us warm and then have that on top as well so anyway we we'll should get an update adam how's your cake going yeah, it's going good going good but you still got your tissue box there yeah. and uh you got twyla harassing you <laughs> i'm getting greasies oh no she's not happy she's not happy baby girl you can't have cake, you don't want to. Aww. Twyla. You didn't say goodnight. No, she's fast asleep. Alright guys. We're off to bed. Oh. <laughs> Good night. Good morning, Twyla. Do we open the window for you so you can look out? Come on, let's have a look. There we go. And you can look outside. You're still yawning. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, we've woken up to a beautiful view. Not the most sunniest day. <laughs> hey, Adam. <laughs> Adam's still feeling not too well. So I think we're going to have to do stuff today away from people. Just us. Hey, Twyla. First stop, the chemist. And my box of tissues with me the whole night. Yes, he had his tissues with him the whole night. Mm -hmm. Have you nearly finished the box? Nearly. Yeah. I've got like an inch, not even. Look, 
nearly empty. Nearly empty. Oh, not good. All right, well, but we're going to make us coffee and some brekkie. That's full, yes. I still stay on nasally. Yes, you do. Anyway, coffees, breakfast, and then to the chemist. Hey, Tyler. Yes? And then we'll see if we Twilight. go exploring anything Twilight. else. <laughs> Adam is keeping it simple today, just with the one piece of. Kick the water again. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Keeping oh. it simple. And um, Twyla's still asleep. We don't dare wake her up. The princess is sleeping. Anyway, I'm going to cook my bacon eggs now. You sure you don't want bacon eggs? So it's time for Twyla's morning toilet run. We're just going to go for a walk up and back. And we've had a few people leave. The fisher, fishermen, they all left. Or fishing people. <laughs> they all left. This guy's rocked up. And I'll, I'll spin the camera around a second to show you. Now, I've seen pretty creative ways to camp before. But he's actually gone and put his ute lid up. And then um, wrapped a tarp around it. And then slept inside. Very creative. One way to test out van life if you like it or camping. Anyway, I'll show you. How funny is that? But um, I'm just walking down with Twyla and we just noticed, check this out. Someone's dumped all their stuff from the Esky on the ground and just left it there where there's bins literally just there. And there's more bins over near the toilet. So it looks like I might have to come back with a garbage bag and pick that up because how ridiculous is that? Like you have these beautiful places you can come enjoy for free, not pay a cent. And people do that and they wonder why, you know, they stop people from doing this stuff sometimes. Oh, gets me angry. But anyway, I'm going to go down and say hi to the pelican. to doing water sports now there is a boat ramp um, so it's got all your the hazards that are around here um, and yeah but there is a boat ramp here and it just says up there the following um, things you can do uh, rowing and sailing and boating and all the rest of it so yeah if you've got a boat and you want to come down and uh, I tell you, if you had sails on a boat today, you'd be going fast with the wind. Oof, it's cold. All right, so we're about to leave. We're going to head back into Colac now. And Adam's looking up the first chemist he can find to go get something for his throat and nose and all the rest of it. And another box of tissues. And uh, Twyla, did you enjoy your stay here? Now, definitely recommend this place. Maybe choose when it's a little bit warmer. Um, and also, I found that with having a dog here, Twyla's feet have never been cleaner. Um, normally, she hops in the van and brings in mud and all the rest it's of it. It's all the grass. But, um, but with all the green grass, we didn't have any of that issue, which I really liked. Any highlights for you that you liked about the place? Oh, there's plenty of bins, which is good. Yeah. Which Please use them. On that note. No, no, I've already, I've already said that. I've already told them about the rubbish. Yeah. But anyway, and um, back to get these places closed down. Exactly. Anyway, let's head back into Colac, and then we'll see what we're going to do for the day. So we've just been to the chemist. Adam's all sorted out now. He's got his medicine. Now I'm about to go in and check out the Murray Street Market. There's about 90 different little stores inside this building. So something you can do, it's open seven days a week. So we're gonna go check it out. But one thing that did get my attention when we walked up to it was this bike here, which you can't really see that well until I come around here. It's Plucker Duck's bike. Now, if you're a fan of Hey Hate Saturday, um, this 
is the bike that he used to ride. How cool is that? But anyway, let's go in and check out the Murray Street Market. There's Plucker himself checking out on top of the bike. How cool is this? I'd love to hop on, but I'm not allowed to because Plucker's bike only. And um, look at this. You can come down and get a photo with it. Anyway, let's head inside. Twyla's now famous. <laughs> Clothes shopping for Twyla. Twyla. <laughs> oh, aren't you a pretty girl? Pretty girl. Okay, maybe not. just come across one of our friends stores so this is her she's got one in here so you can come and buy all these really cool chopping boards look at these so cool I'll show you a few more different designs but anyway you can come down and buy her stuff here how cool is that So another thing you'll find on the Murray Street is Buller Ice Cream. This is the home of it. This is where it's made. Now at the moment, they don't have a shop where you can go buy some, but they will be opening a shop in the future. So next time you're here, check it out. See if you see if it is open. But um, otherwise, I couldn't come to Colac without mentioning Buller Ice Cream. Yum. So we just stopped off in a little town called Jelly Brand. Um, it's about 20 minutes, roughly, from um, Colac. We just come down. I saw, I looked, I was Googling last night and I found a little cafe here that I thought that'd be really nice to go to. So we're just gonna go have some coffees. And um, yeah, and they've got a park in the middle of the town, which is quite cute. The kids will like it, so you can see over here. And um, also you can check out their old train station check this out they relocated it here so you can come in and look and it's got the history of the town and the the rail the rail uh, the rail trail and all the rest of it so you can hop in there and have a look at a little bit of a museum all right well let's uh get over to the cafe and check it out Well, that's it for another adventure. I hope you've really enjoyed this one, the trip to Colac. And what about you, Adam? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did, yeah. And also, we ended up in Jalabrand, a town maybe half an hour down the road, or towards the coast at least. And another general store for a um, quick bite, ordered a uh, quiche and a couple of coffees. It was so quite nice. So definitely come check these guys out too. But anyway, um, remember, as per usual, to like and subscribe. And until next week at 5 p.m. on Sunday, we'll see you then. See, see you guys. guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.